Hi, hello, my name is Madame Kruvens Goods and welcome back to my channel Beauty for Beauty. And today I wanted to discuss a true crime story. And we go back to the mid 1800s. And today's convicted murderer is uh, not just a murderer, he's a serial killer. He was an imposter. He killed mates. Uh, his shtick was merge fraud and his name was Hugo Schenk. He was born February 11th. 1849 and he actually came from a wealthy family his father was a judge in the czech republic and his brother became a community doctor so he, he actually yeah he came from a well-off family but for some odd reason hugo did not want to go the road of his fa father or his brother he he wanted to do something else and it's believed that he started in 1869 when he pretended to be from your royal blood and he imposed it as a prince uh, of Varsha who had to flee Varsha because of the Tsar. And he started with his marriage fraud, so yeah. And he it, it soon he soon got caught and he got thrown into prison, I think for five years, but he came out way earlier after two years. It could be because his brother his father is a judge and he came from a well off family, so who knows? But it said that it was because of good behavior, but maybe it also was important that his father was a judge. But Hugo was not out for very long because he could not leave his big pleasure, his big hobby and his joy of life, marriage fraud alone. And he got caught again and thrown into another prison for two years because I guess only marriage fraud and not pretending to be royal blood it's not as bad because pretending to be royal blood seems to be way worse back then. So yeah, he got thrown for two years into the prison stein and fun fact, this is still a prison till this day. It's the second biggest prison in Austria. And in this prison, he befriended somebody and they got best buddies. And that was uh, Karl Sch uh, Schlosserek, also called uh, Feschak is beauty and it said that with him everything was a wrong turn and everything got darker because with him it's believed that the killing started but actually who knows so after the two years he, Hugo got out and guess what he went back to business like immediately just back on to finding some ladies to get married to or pretend to get married to so in 1883, he was 33 years old and they said that, yeah, he could talk very well to women. He met uh, uh, Josefina Timal. She was a maid. And that time, maids could get uh, be well off and paid very well. And somehow they talked and he persuaded her that she get married to him. I can't imagine how dating back then was or getting married. Like, was this something like, oh, you meet somebody and next day you get married? I can't, I don't, I mean, I don't even know this times because imagining going out and talking to people, like it just, I could just pull my skin off, but who knows? So she, Josefina, she packed everything together. She quit her job and she, she went, she went to Krakow to meet the love of her life and to marry him. And sadly there she met her faith. He and Karl um, robbed her and killed her. Yeah. So Hugo was quite afraid after the killing that her, she had an aunt and he was afraid that her aunt would find out. She was called Katharina Timal and she was working as a maid for Budweiser. Yes, Budweiser, the Budweiser beer from Czech Republic, the real one. <laughs> Just kidding. Every Budweiser is Budweiser. But yes, so he wrote um, her that if she doesn't want to meet him and see her niece and she could live with them. And so she packed her belongings together, hopped into a train and wanted to meet her niece. And Hugo picked her up from the train station and that's the last time she was seen. And after that, she was robbed again, choked to death and just tossed and donor. I just like, I'm sorry, just uh, so yeah. After that, um, he met uh, Theresia Ket uh, Kettel. So he met Theresia Kettel, and the same story went here. So yeah, this was the same story. And after Theresia, um, in 
December of 1883, he met his uh, last victim. Alleg yeah, he, she was. She was quite sure his last victim. And this was uh, uh, Roger Ferenczi. And with uh, Roger Ferenczi, the same happened. And this was in December, and in January, he and Karl were caught. It's unsure if he really only had four victims because it seemed like that Hugo had a shtick. Like he murdered one girl and he celebrated the night with his next victim. So it's quite possible that there are more victims. And rumors at that time in newspapers and these um, news shouters were saying that he killed way more. I mean, the numbers were outrageous, like they said 200, but there were a lot of maids at this time missing, like alone in Vienna, the ones that were reported were I think 40, but I've read, so it is quite possible that he killed way more people. And because at that time he could travel around the monarchy without really people knowing where he is, it's quite easy that there are more victims, but we, we will never find out. And there's, there's one um, uh, girl that he did not kill, and that was uh, Josefia Eder. Um, she was also a maid, but she was stealing for him. So it's quite possible that she was more valuable alive than dead for him, because she actually stole for him. So, And then he also had a other woman that he did not kill, and she, her, her name was um, Emilia Huxman. And People believed that he really liked her because he even got engaged with her and gave her stuff. And he got engaged with her although he was married. Yeah, there is another the third woman that he didn't kill. And that is Evanda Schenk. He even had two daughters with her. And they lived in a quite rundown place. And she didn't. She said she did not know anything about it. For her, her husband just was always away. And I mean... I could imagine that back in the day that she really didn't know because I guess she was at home al alone at home with the kids and he was traveling the country, the monarchy to a lot of countries and there was no phone, no phone calling, no internet. So maybe he wrote once or twice a letter if he even did that. So I can't imagine she didn't knew anything. And the judge and the court said she was a really nice lady. So there was no problem with her. Also Emiliana. But, um, Miss Ada, she got actually in prison for three years. So that was the story of uh, Austria's, or Vienna's, not Austria's, Vienna's um, serial killer, Hugo Schenk. His skull is also in a museum, like most of my stories now. But the more I progress in history with the, the murders in Vienna, the, the less skulls will be there. So just, just to prepare you, there will be less skulls in museums. And that's it. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever. And yeah. Bye.